Hey there! I just made this intro to... I actually stole this intro from Breaking Taps, a great channel. Watch some really awesome slow-mo footage of uh, chatter in, uh, in end mills. So go check out Breaking Taps. In a few seconds you will be wondering why a video about controlling an intake valve and a do-it-yourself EFI system starts with some dyno building stuff. It's simple really, I was just in a more intake and EFI mood this week. Welcome back! You've seen my old dyno, it's an inertia dyno I built myself. A big AC motor and a frame. It's a really nice system because it will simulate road conditions very well compared to a load cell dyno. But with my new engine where I need constant load, constant RPM, I really need a load cell dyno. Also for tuning in the EFI and stuff. So um, we're building a second one. Load cell. Hydraulic pumped load cell dyno. If you're new here and just came for the dyno content, Please go back and watch some of my other videos. I'm in the process of building the most powerful two-stroke ever. That's CC versus horsepower, not absolute. There's also some videos about this thing, the rat scoot, if you go way back there. So, the new system will be based around this thing from yourdino.com. A huge thanks to Justein at yourdino.com for, um, for supplying me with this. It's actually a while ago, so sorry for, for this taking so long, but um, it seems like a really nice unit. And um, so it's the control unit and hydraulic pump. For now, I might go to um, a, a magnetic powder brake, but they're not that expensive, but shipping from China gets really expensive because they're large and heavy, but much less hassle than uh, Hydraulics because you will need a tank and the fluid and hoses and stuff. But anyways, that's what we're going for now because I have a pump so, a pump RPM sensor a load cell Sensor load sensor. So that's what will feel the torque directly stuff to mount that thing and uh, USB cable connectors and a big piece of aluminium extrusion and that will be the the main frame and then some pulleys and uh, and belts and, and stuff. I think... Luckily for you, you don't need much drawing skills to use CAD. So here's a CAD model of that dyno. My, sorry, my dyno idea. It's uh, really simple. There's a main beam here and two legs. And there's uh, the engine mount and a jack shaft with gear reduction, belt drive, then a bearing block here with another jack shaft connected to that hydraulic pump, a torque arm here, and the load cell there. Now this is not the final design, and there will most likely be a lot of changes along the way, but this is the basic idea. As I said earlier, I found myself in more of a intake and uh, EFI mood. And uh, so here's that servo wire puller drive thing.
It is working, though a bit slow. The springs are too stiff. It is struggling a bit. Need some softer springs and longer springs. There's some play here because they're not long enough. This might work. Opening slowly might be, or slowly might be better than just blasting it open. We'll just have to time the injection to start at the right point here to not choke or tease from uh, too much air versus fuel. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. <laughs> we'll get back to that dyno, I promise you. Just wanted to do some EFI and, and uh, intake stuff now. I realized I didn't really explain my setup here. It is really simple. So there's an Arduino controlling the, the servo with a PWM signal. And here's a voltage regulator. It's set to 7.2 volts, which is the maximum for this servo. A battery, and that's it. And that Arduino sketch is, I've just included the servo library and uh, attached the servo to pin 9, PWM, and then I'm writing to the servo. EFI, next time, EFI. Thanks for watching, see you next time.